The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. I'm going to tell you folks something. I want to say this loud and clear to the people on Capitol Hill who are listening. To this administration. You lay one damn hand on one of those World War II vets at that memorial, I'll bring half a million people to that damn memorial. You got that? I'm sitting here stewing thinking about this. Playing these damn games? You will ignite a movement in this country like you've never seen before. The Biker Patriot Army. Veterans from all over the country. Every single war and battle in this country. Republican, Democrat, Independent, whatever. I'll be damned if one president, with his feet up on the desk in the Oval Office, with his smirk on his face, looking at his golf cart, I'll be damned if this president or anybody else is going to shut down that World War II memorial. Period. These men are in their 80s and 90s. So let me repeat. You lay one hand on one of those men and arrest them for going to their memorial, which they fought for, which was not paid by you, damn it, was paid by the American people. We will come out of every town and city in this nation. We will come out of every county, at both coasts, both borders, and we will march on Washington against your tyranny. You've been warned. You have been warned. Oh, shut down the government. Shove it! Let me repeat, Park Service. Let me repeat. You lay one hand on one of those 80 or 90 year old men who fought in World War II at that World War II mon memorial, I promise you, I'm going to lead an effort to get hundreds of thousands of people at that damn memorial, and you're not going to stop us. You're not going to stop anybody. You're not going to push around that generation and this president who never served a day in his life I didn't either but at least I respect the military this president who's hollowing out the United States military who's cutting back their insurance benefits who's screwing around with them with social engineering enough is enough these 80 and 90 year old men they fought for this country now it's up to you and me to protect them so you keep your damn hands off of them. And I'm not joking. You keep that damn memorial open. Or hundreds of thousands of us will open it for you. This isn't intended to be controversial. This isn't intended to be a joke. This is exactly how I feel in my heart and soul. I take this very personally. My grandfather fought at Iwo Jima, and he fought at Guam. And my great uncle fought at Guadalcanal. And I will be damned if this community activist is going to shut down their memorial. They beat the Germans, they beat the Nazis. They beat the Japanese. They beat fascist Italy. And I'm not going to allow, as one person, this administration, these people, to beat them now that they're in their 80s and 90s. No damn way. I'll be right back. Mark Lovin. The only people who 
don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.